Human's coexistence with nature has been a long one. Many of his close natural interactions have been hardwired in his social behavior over centuries of evolution. One such interaction is the cohabitation of humans and sparrows. The house sparrow, scientifically known as Pesae domesticus, is one of the most widely distributed birds found on this planet. It is native to the countries of Asia, Europe and America and are mostly present in human affected areas like urban and semi-urban residences. Sparrows are rarely found in the wilderness. They are domestic birds that live happily with humans and have constituted an important part of human existence in history. Sparrows are small birds, usually measuring somewhere between 14 to 18 centimeters. They are mostly dark and dull colored, helping them camouflage well within the urban surroundings and giving them a natural advantage against predators. Sparrows live in the wild for 4 to 5 years and fly at a speed of 17 to 24 miles per hour. Sparrows are very social birds, often nesting in colonies. A sparrow's way of living is very similar to a human family. They take adequate time in finding a secure and danger-free spot for building their nest and raising their young. A traditional sparrow couple takes care of their infants and builds their nest together. They are very adaptable creatures, being able to live in a wide range of habitual environments, from concrete cities and skyscrapers to lush green villages and fields. Sparrows have always shared a symbiotic relationship with humans. They depend a lot on humans for their sustenance. From building their nests in the corners of human balconies to feeding on the excess food left by the windows, sparrows have become a part and parcel of human households. They return the favor by being excellent pest controllers. Besides pest control, sparrows are a natural ecological index. They are only found in places that are ecologically sound and record relatively lesser pollution. Therefore, sparrows are also called the barometers of the environment. And the ever-increasing environmental degradation, especially in urban areas, is the exact reason why the population of these birds is dwindling day by day. Change in the overall urban lifestyle of humans has been a significant contributor in this regard. If a sparrow, which is which lives near our window, uh, windows, our gardens, our habitats, if that bird is facing such challenge and we are not able to do something, so it's too ambitious for us to save a tiger. And in the early uh, 2010, we launched the World's Parody Campaign. So that was something which helped uh, sparrows get recognition global as well as national as well as international. Although there is no singular theory that definitively outlines why the birds are disappearing, there has been substantial paperwork in the past that tries to delineate the probable causes. Some of the primary listed reasons are the rising levels of pollution, the amplification of mobile radiation and network towers, continuous careless human activities, etc. Apart from these, some secondary causes like change in urban architecture, paucity of habitat, pesticides in grains, etc. has actively contributed to the deterioration of its population.
one to ten, if you say, we are still on an alarming rate of seven to eight, nearly about. We have not, we have not even crossed the halfway mark. We are not in the mid also, we, where we can say no, things are sorted out, things are good enough, because still there is lot many things to be done. Still, still there are lot many uh, errors which are there, which needs to be rectified. Uh, the future generation needs to take things more seriously and more responsibly. Our, our lifestyle needs to change. We need to be more aware. We need to be more responsible. We need to understand the re basic requirements of sparrows. It is not well known at which point in history did sparrows become a significant part of human civilization. But this principle of symbiosis is an example of a long-standing, millennium-old tradition that humans share with nature. As humans, it is our duty to preserve the habitat that we share with other flora, fauna and species of nature. Today's children are more worried if their Wi-Fi signals are not coming, if their iPads are not working. If they don't see network in their mobile phones or the iPads, so they go, they go like, why this is not working? But that same kind of urgency or that same kind of enthusiasm or thrust is not there if they don't see a sparrow, if they don't see a butterfly, if they don't see any uh, ecological activity outside their home. Before another species bites the dust and joins the extinct list. We humans should come together to raise awareness and proactively take part in its prevention and critical recovery.